have you work with me on this investigation. One percent, huh? That was well worded. Because no matter how little he says he suspects me, it means he has grounds to prevent me from meeting anyone on the task force. That was quite the preemptive move on his part. He got me. This coffee shop is one of my favorites in the area. And if we sit here, there's no chance of anyone overhearing us. Thanks for showing me this place. I can see why you like it. Not to mention, we're so out of the way here, no one's gonna give you a hard time about the way you sit. I don't sit like this because I want to. I have to sit like this. You see, if I were to sit normally, my deductive skills would immediately be reduced by roughly 40%. So, what was it you wanted to ask me? Right. I'm sure that can wait until you're convinced that I'm not Kira. So please, let's talk about whatever you want to. You're under no obligation to do this, but would you mind submitting yourself to a test of your deductive reasoning skills? Sure, why not? Sounds like fun. All right, then. We can begin by taking a look at these. Photographs of three notes written by prison inmates while under Kira's control just prior to their deaths. None of this information has been made public. You can take as long as you want to look them over. Please let me know what you think. Very interesting. Come on, this is child's play. There's a print number on the back of each of these photographs. If I ignored this fact and was still able to come up with the phrase, L, do you know, gods of death love apples, what would that mean? Clearly, if I read it the way Kira intended on my first attempt, I'd only look more suspicious. But the fact that I'm able to solve this silly code isn't enough on its own to prove that I'm Kira. It would be quite amazing to learn that not only could Kira kill others, but could also control his victim's actions. I think Kira